Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. So this is the next episode, and in the last one, we had a very serious ambush, um, thanks to Randy Random. And a few of our people are hurt, but not too bad, and most importantly, we have a lot of prisoners, so hopefully in this episode we'll be able to recruit them. So let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, greetings! It is I, the Count, and it's time to answer that fascinating question. What is the mental break number of the day? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's count the breaks and find out. All right. So our fox Gulliver, he's a little hurt. That's fine. Okay. We just had a berserk. One of our prisoners has gone berserk. Ah, that's one. Okay, this is not good. Already <laughs> getting off to a good start. Okay, again. Beto. Beto's health is pretty good. I think we're gonna have Beto... We're gonna have Beto put, put Bramble back into line here, so... Um, hopefully everything goes well. Alright, cool. One shot, and he's down. Okay, cool. Let's... Capture him. Oh no, the door's dead. The door's dead, that's why. Okay. Structure, build the door. We need that now, or else the prisoners will start escaping. So, prioritize working on the door. Alright, let's speed this up. We really need this done. Um, prioritize working. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong thing. Constructing the door. Please do that. Perfect. Okay. So now we can get the prisoners back. What's his health at? Pretty good. Let's capture him. And we'll tend to them again. Okay, so hopefully we'll have no more mental breaks. Booker... He yeah, has very low mood as well, but hopefully everything will be good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And that is a timber wolf. Let's see. So, different animals have different trainable intelligences based on what they can do. So, the wolf's is kind of advanced. So, if we find someone that has a very high social skill, we might be able to tame a few wolves, which would be really cool. You can train them to do things like hauling, and they'll randomly pick up things. And they can also rescue people, which is cool. So let's see where this goes. Alright, so everyone is kind of not doing too well. Booker still has the malaria, but I think it should be good. I think she's treating herself. Yes, she is tending to Booker. So fingers crossed everything's gonna go well. And the more prisoners that we have in the same cell, the higher chance they are have to organize a prison break, which is not very good. Health. Why is she sleeping out there? Alright, because this is his, Beto's bed. Escape pod. You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them or send them on their way, or capture them for recruitment or slavery purposes. Okay. This is the third person that we've had crashed down to us, so... Randy Random is being really generous, but I don't know if we should recruit them or not. Because we already have three prisoners. Uh, I think it'll all depend on the stats here, so... Let's look at him. He's too smart, so... Global learning factor, plus 75%, but... He has a plus 12 mental break threshold, which is not necessarily good, but the only thing he's incapable of is cooking and cleaning, so 
And his construction is very high too, so... I think we're gonna go for it. Um, let's have Booker capture M. Is his name? His name's just M. <laughs> cool. Um, we'll capture him and bring him back on his way. And we're gonna have to heal him as well. Things are not looking good for the colony right now. And hopefully we can recruit him pretty quickly. He's got pretty low recruitment. So let's put these guys to no interaction because I don't even want our colonists wasting time on them. I just want M and Dixon to be um, recruited. And then we'll have a much bigger... Um, group of colonists. And we're gonna need to prioritize some defenses here as well. Because we got ambushed pretty hard in the last episode, and if that happens again, it might be bad. Critical alert, major break risk, low food. Okay, um, there's a lot of potato plants that are ready to harvest, but I'm not sure why they're not doing that. Growing. Okay, Booker, she should have one in growing, so she prioritizes that. Okay. What happened to all the meals that landed here? I think they're all gone. Low food. So we can't always go hunting for food, but I'm not... I don't really want to do that. I think we should just prioritize the growing. Hopefully everything will be good, and I think we're going to have to expand the growing zone a bit as well. Two. Mental break tantrum. That is... that is wonderful. Okay, um, Booker is having a tantrum, and she's destroying the Glitter World medicine. Okay, um... Perfect. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're just gonna have Beto go in there, and... Just... We're just gonna fire on her, because we really need that medicine. And it's dead. Okay. <laughs> I guess we didn't get to it in time. And Booker ended up, uh... Ruining everybody's day, <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can always get more. Um, but I guess we only have one Booker, so... That is... that is a bummer. <laughs> okay. Let's speed things back up again. We really didn't need that. Severe illness. Booker has a severe illness. I think she's gonna end up beating it. Probably. Oh, we don't have Glitter World medicine anymore, so... <laughs> I think Booker might have ended up killing herself by, uh... Okay. Oh, she cannot walk. Okay, um... Beto... Tend to Booker. Because we do not need her dying. <laughs> And she was our first colonist, I believe, too, so... I don't know, maybe it'll be all good, but the malaria is growing quickly. Hopefully she'll be fine, but she really cut it close for herself. We are having a serious storm here. Bulk Goods Trader from Krika of the Plain is approaching. They are Bulk Goods Trader. Okay. 
they will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. And we definitely do not want to um, attack them right now anyway, so... <laughs> That's okay. And we have another berserk. Three! Three! Idiots. Ah, ah, ah. But it's in the prison cells, so it's okay, I think. Okay, Booker's gonna be okay. Wow, okay, um... What? Nothing? Nothing happened? Where's the confetti? Where's the balloons? Isn't three the number of the day? Uh, oh, what? Oh, we're not finished counting! Haha! -ha. Yes! Dixon. Where were you, my pet? Oh, well, never mind. You're here now. Let's keep going. We had three breaks and one more. Dixon. Makes one, two, three, four all together. Who had the berserk? Okay, Dixon has gone berserk. And M went berserk. Okay. Um, we had a little prison fight there. And okay. Um, try to get everyone back in line, I guess. Oh man, things are not looking good right now at all. But luckily Booker's okay. So let's trade with them. Okay, um Your negotiator Booker cannot talk properly because of poor health. This will affect trading prices. Consider using another healthier negotiating negotiator. I cannot word. <laughs> Alright. They will buy our wood. Luckily. So. I think I'm going to sell all that. Because we don't need it. They have anything good. They have some herbal medicine. That they are selling for exuberant prices. But I think we're going to have to buy it. Uh, okay. So let's sell like 40. That was not 40. Negative. 400. I'm at 400. Um, and let's buy all their medicine. Um, 350? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. We got the medicine back. Prioritize hauling it so it doesn't wash away. And perfect. So everyone's unhappy because they're getting fed raw potatoes. <laughs> and, um... And they're just laying on the floor, just suffering. And we cannot worry about them because we have our own problems. Man, okay. These are some serious third world living conditions for our prisoners. Okay, if we could just recruit one, that would get one of them out of there and make them a little bit happier. What are his needs? Oh, he is starving. Okay, um, and nobody is bothering capturing him again and putting him back to bed. Okay. And we have a half-decayed corpse that the animals aren't bothering eating. Prisoner... No, 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 no. Our prisoners do not get the medicine. I am sorry, but no. We are n not doing that. How much is this? And they already wasted three. Okay. <laughs> One thing that definitely needs improvement in this game is the, is the AIs. They are really dumb. But hey, at least we have that, uh, extremely low expectations buff. <laughs> okay. Booker has passed out. Let's set this to not medical anymore, so Booker has a bed again.
Okay, we are definitely going to need to use these drugs, I think, because everyone is super depressed and miserable and angry. <laughs> I think they need a little buzz. And we need to build a grave so that body isn't making everyone unhappy. Let's build it here. And while we're at it, let's build a couple more because I have a feeling we're going to need them. Okay, um, a chunk of a spacecraft has fallen from space. We can deconstruct it and get some more components. Yippee. All right, peace talks opportunity. Wool, chief of the white guinea pig Trongo, Trago, has sent us a message. He wants to talk with us in a nearby location. This could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction, but beware. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and even anger them. So let's see where this is after we finish generating. So our home is here, and we would have to walk all the way over there. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we have enough food to even bother doing that. And two, I don't think we have anyone who's that good at social that I want to risk it. All right. That rotten corpse is now in the grave and everything is back to being terrible. <laughs> Combat supplier. Oh boy. Okay. Don't hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. We know. Alright, so hopefully, maybe we can get, like, some weapons from them. Maybe they have more medicine. And they are really slow. For whatever reason. Low medicine, low food. We truly are in a third world rim world. <laughs> we are a terrible colony. Okay, fire foam shell, EMP shell. They got regular medicine, which is actually cheaper than the herbal medicine that we bought from the other guys. Of course, they ripped us off. We got some shotguns, some machine pistols. Okay, um. Too bad we can't sell our prisoners. I mean,. I'd sure be willing to let a few go. Because you can sell people into slavery in this game. Uh, there is a negative debuff from it, so I think I will buy... I really like the machine pistols. They're really good in this game. So I'll buy that. And something tells me we're gonna need more medicine as well, so... Better get that. Okay. And accept. So where is the machine pistol? There it is. Equip the machine pistol. Do that. And then haul everything else so it doesn't decay. Okay. And let's build some Security structures, because we're going to need those. So the thing that I like to build is like... A little bunker thing. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to call it. Um, and I messed up. I messed up completely. So like this, like this. And then like this, and like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and then we put... We put a wall here, and some more walls here, and a wall here, and then we put a build roof area above it. So in this game if you're if people that are in the like outside are shooting someplace where it's dark, they get a penalty for um, accuracy. They get an accuracy penalty. 
So if you put a roof over where you plan to shoot from, there's a higher chance of the people that are shooting at you missing, which is cool. That's a good little bunker to have. I don't know if I want to build another one or not. Okay, Beto's working hard at being a better uh, miner. And there's the heat wave. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, this was an interesting episode. We had Booker go into a um, very unhappy little tantrum, but that's fine. And so let's see where next episode takes us with this heat wave. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to like the video if you like the video, and consider subscribing to the AI Cave channel if you haven't already. I appreciate any feedback, and enjoy the rest of your day.